Nobody kids themselves into thinking barbecue is healthy, but there are still a few dishes you should avoid if you don't want to rack up some serious calories. Let's be real, it's pretty rare for macaroni and cheese to be considered healthy, and when it's made by a barbecue restaurant, you should be extra careful. Commonly served as a side to barbecue meats, the mac and cheese served at barbecue places is typically full of fat, including saturated fat, and packs a big punch of calories for its serving size. For example, Mission Barbecue's Maggie's Mac and Cheese side dish contains more than 300 calories per serving. That might not seem too bad until you consider that its serving size is just 170 grams which isn't too far off that of an apple. Within that small size, 177 calories come from fat, and nearly 100 of those are pure saturated fat. Mission Barbecue's macaroni and cheese appears to be more cheese than mac, too, with a mere 17 grams of carbs and barely any fiber. But it's the saturated fat content in mac and cheese that you should be aware of, mostly due to its effects on cholesterol. Although a certain amount of saturated fat can be okay, consuming too much can cause increases in your LDL cholesterol which is the type you don't want. This can increase your risk of developing a stroke or heart disease. Spare ribs are one of the most popular dishes at barbecue restaurants, and they're usually very unhealthy. A pile of ribs tend to rack up the calories, saturated fat, sodium, and sugar content in no time at all. For example, the largest portion size for Famous Dave's St. Louis-style spare ribs is listed as 12 bones, which contains 1,910 calories, 51 grams of saturated fat, 35 grams of sugar, and almost 4,000 milligrams of sodium. Pork spare ribs come from the pig's underside, which is a particularly fatty part of the animal. Any oils, glazes, rubs, or sauces used to cook spare ribs further raise the fat content, as well as the amount of sugar, sodium, and calories. Because spare ribs have a premium flavor, it's easy to eat too many. Beware, though, as excessive calorie consumption of this scale can lead to a range of issues. As well as causing weight gain and triggering indigestion, eating too many calories from foods high in fat Fat, sugar, and salt can disrupt your body's ability to assess when you're satisfied after eating. And I'll have the number eight. That's a party platter that serves 12 people. I know what I'm about, son. Potato salad is a classic side dish at a lot of barbecue joints, and it's easy to understand why. The creamy, slightly tangy taste can be the perfect counterbalance to the bolder, sharper, smoky flavors of barbecued meats. Just don't expect potato salad to be a healthy choice. Creamy salads like potato salad use a lot of mayonnaise, which makes up the bulk of the dressing. Mayonnaise is both calorie and fat dense, with one ounce of mayo containing more than 200 calories and 22 grams of fat. One two-third cup serving of potato salad at City Barbecue, for instance, comes in at 450 calories and 30 grams of fat. If you're looking for a healthier choice, consider a regular baked potato or a green or bean salad. Untopped baked potatoes allow you to control the amount of fat you add, whereas green and bean salads provide you with important nutrients and fiber. Hot dogs are a classic barbecue food, one that both adults and kids seem to enjoy in equal measure, but just because they're not dripping in marinades or visible fat doesn't mean they're a healthy choice. The typical plain beef hot dog on a bun has more than 300 calories, 18 grams of fat, and 810 milligrams of sodium, and that's without any condiments or toppings. As such, highly processed meats such as hot dogs are widely considered to be detrimental to good health if eaten regularly. Processed meats contain nitrates as preservatives, which are harmful to the digestive tract. Excessive consumption of processed meats has been linked to higher rates of bowel cancer. It's also worth bearing in mind that while hot dogs may be smaller than the average steak or rack of ribs, they can quickly become more calorie and sodium packed with the addition of toppings. Cheese, grilled onions, chili, condiments, and sauces will impact your hot dog's nutritional aspects in ways that are not usually beneficial to your health. And the whole affair is usually enclosed in a white bun made of refined, low-fiber flour, which also ranks pretty poorly nutritionally speaking. Bring me four fried chickens and a Coke. You want chicken wings or chicken legs? Four fried chickens and a Coke. Many barbecue restaurants serve fried chicken, a solid choice for folks who don't want to consume a lot of red meat. But fried chicken comes with its own nutritional issues. Rarely a healthy choice, regardless of the setting, the fried chicken served in many barbecue establishments can be particularly unhealthy, with single pieces containing hundreds of calories and high amounts of saturated fat. The cooking process for fried chicken, which involves dredging pieces in a salty coating and then plunging them into hot oil, 
seriously contributes to the dish's nutritional deficiencies. At Bill Miller Barbecue, one fried chicken wing has 330 calories, 19 grams of fat, and 5 grams of saturated fat. A fried chicken thigh has 320 calories, 22 grams of fat, and 9 grams of saturated fat. Eat one wing and one thigh, and you've consumed more than the 13 grams of saturated fat the American Heart Association recommends you have in one day. Even a fried chicken breast, which is leaner white meat, has 330 calories, 19 grams of fat, and 5 grams of saturated fat at Bill Miller. And of course, you're probably not going to be eating that chicken on its own. Bill Miller's four-piece chicken tenders meal with fries, gravy, and a roll comes in at a total of 1,400 calories, 69 grams of fat, 22 grams of saturated fat, and 3,260 milligrams of sodium. Brisket is a star attraction on many barbecue restaurant menus, especially in eateries specializing in Texas-style barbecue. A mountainous pile of slow-smoked, soft-as-butter meat might be your thing, but you'll probably want to keep its nutritional impact in mind. Brisket is a fairly fatty cut of meat, and while this fat is what makes it so moist and tender, it's also largely unhealthy, saturated fat. If you're ordering a single portion of smoked beef brisket from Dickey's Barbecue Pit, for example, you could expect 13 grams of saturated fat, approximately 64% of the recommended daily value. As well as this, barbecue joints tend to smother their brisket in seasonings and sauces, which pair excellently with the inherent fattiness of the meat but make it even less nutritious. At Dickey's, a serving has slightly more than 650 milligrams of sodium, and that's in the meat alone, without any sauce. It's also useful to remember that brisket is fairly high in cholesterol too, which may pose a risk to folks who are sensitive to consuming cholesterol in their diets. Unless you prefer to eat french fries dry or are somehow okay with barbecued meat that is inadequately sauced, you're likely going to want extra dips and sauces when dining at a barbecue joint. But just because sauces are often served in smaller portions doesn't mean their calorie counts are smaller too. Dips and sauces in barbecue restaurants are nearly always high in fat, sugar, and sodium, which can significantly increase the amounts of all of these in your meal without you even realizing it. Oh, dip. Mission Barbecue's Alabama White Sauce is served in 28 gram portions. In those 28 grams are 161 calories, with 155 of them coming straight from the 17 grams of fat in the sauce. Although a lot of this fat is polyunsaturated, one of the healthier kinds, it's still a large amount in a small serving, and adds little by way of other nutrients. Mission Barbecue's Gator Bite Barbecue Sauce has a lower calorie count at 93 calories per serving, but has almost 700 milligrams of sodium and 20 grams of sugar. That's almost one-third of the FDA's recommended daily value of 2,300 milligrams of sodium in a few tablespoons of sauce. Sauce is a big part of barbecue, of course, just don't go overboard if you want to keep things nutritious. If you're not sure what to order at a barbecue restaurant, the good old-fashioned cheeseburger is usually a dependable choice. But they're far from healthy, of course. It's no surprise that cheeseburgers are high-fat options, partially thanks to all that cheese, which also contributes to calorie and sodium levels. And because barbecue places often add barbecue-specific extras to their cheeseburgers, such as pulled pork and barbecue sauce, the calorie, fat, and sodium levels tend to reach much higher. Famous Dave's Ultimate Burger is a particularly clear example of this. Nestled inside its desserts, sweet brioche bun, the burger manages to pack in 1,240 calories, 32 grams of saturated fat, and almost 3,200 milligrams of sodium, thanks to its burger patty being topped with cheese, bacon, chopped pork, and barbecue sauce. Although none of this burger's nutritional numbers are encouraging, the sodium is especially worrying. Too much sodium can increase the strain on your cardiovascular system and lead to blood vessels becoming increasingly inflexible, which then heightens the risk of serious cardiovascular disease. You might not find a Frito pie in every barbecue restaurant you go to, but there's a good chance you'd want to try it if you saw it. This uniquely southwestern recipe is sort of like a barbecue-infused take on nachos, with corn chips serving as a base upon which chili, shredded cheese, and a host of toppings are piled. Homemade Frito pie is usually a pretty casual affair that's mixed in and served straight from the bag. Barbecue restaurants' Frito pies, like Dickie's Barbecue Pit's Frito Pie Stack, are often a plate of corn chips topped with a tower of brisket, barbecue beans, and shredded cheese. The per-serving calorie count of Dickie's Frito's Pie Stack comes in at 1,085, with fat at 52.5 grams, saturated fat at 15.5 grams, and sodium at 2,236 milligrams. The brisket and the corn chips supply high levels of fat, 
with the chips also containing unhealthy trans fats. And while the barbecue beans may initially seem healthy, their high levels of added sugar explain the sweetness of the dish. Additionally, it's useful to keep in mind how you're eating this option. If, like nachos, you're splitting a Frito pie with friends as an appetizer, you could be adding high levels of unhealthy nutrients to your meal before you even start on your main course.